and yield back Breaking the balance news. of my time. Breaking news. We're looking at the final stand of Never Trump. Let's listen in. Thank you. Without objection, the previous question is ordered. The question is on adoption of the resolution. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the resolution is agreed to. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. I now have the honor of recognizing the chairman of the... Come get your minions, Ben Shapiro. It's all over now. I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to do this again. Madam Secretary, New York, the Empire State, proud to be the home of Donald J. Trump. And we are proud that we have as one of our delegates Donald J. Trump, Jr. I have the incredible honor of not only being a part of the ride that's been this election process and to watch as a small fly on the wall what my father has done in creating this movement, because it's not a campaign anymore, it's a movement. Speaking to real Americans, giving them a voice again. And it is my honor to be able to throw Donald Trump over the top in the delegate count tonight with 89 yeah. delegates and another six for John Kasich. Congratulations, Dad. We love you. Pursuant to the announcement of the delegation and the rules of this convention, New York, six votes Kasich. 89 votes, Donald J. Trump! Our party now has a nominee. <laughs> All right. That was pretty well orchestrated. Uh, Je Jeff, did you email them to fly the plane right when I said that? And love your children as much as I know that you do. Oh, wow. Good job. Good. Stand and speak and vote your conscience. Vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. I appreciate the enthusiasm of the New York delegation. He's having a hard time. He looks like a nervous wreck. He's going down. He had his moment. We must make the most of our moment to fight for freedom, to protect our God-given rights, even of those with whom we don't agree. We will unite the party. We will unite the country by standing for liberty. Mr. Trump, I think maybe my greatest weakness is that I trust people too much. I'm too trusting. And when they let me down, if they let me down, I never forgive. I find it very, very hard to forgive people that deceived me. You did you question his attack. judgment. Not the other school is you guys are crazy like foxes, and that you knew when he said those words that would be the reaction on the floor, and it would be one of the more unifying moments of the convention so far. Well, holy shit! The absolute madman just absolutely ended Ted Cruz's career. And I could not be more proud tonight to present to you and to all of America my father and our next president, 
Donald J. Trump. Thank you. Who's that? Excuse me, Jim. Confiscate his coat. How great are our police, and how great is Cleveland? Friends, delegates, and fellow Americans, I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. Our convention occurs at a moment of crisis for our nation. The attacks on our police and the terrorism our cities threaten our very way of life. Nearly 180,000 illegal immigrants with criminal records ordered deported from our country are tonight roaming free to threaten peaceful citizens. One such border crosser was released and made his way to Nebraska. There, he ended the life of an innocent young girl named Sarah Root. She was 21 years old and was killed the day after graduating from college with a 4.0 grade point average, number one in her class. Her killer was then released a second time, and he is now a fugitive from the law. But to this administration, their amazing daughter was just one more American life that wasn't worth protecting. No more. One more child to sacrifice on the order and on the altar of open borders. I have a message to every last person threatening the peace on our streets and the safety of our police. When I take the oath of office next year, I will restore law and order to our country to make life safe for all of our citizens. We must also address the growing threats we face from outside the country. We are going to defeat the barbarians of ISIS, and we're going to defeat them fast. Once again, France is the victim of brutal Islamic terrorism. Men, women, and children viciously mowed down, lives ruined, families ripped apart, a nation in mourning. Anyone who endorses violence, hatred, or oppression is not welcome in our country and never, ever will be. The most important difference between our plan and that of our opponent is that our plan will put America first. Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo as long as we are led by politicians who will not put America first, then we can be assured that other nations will not treat America with respect, the respect that we deserve. The American people 
will come first once again. I have joined the political arena so that the powerful can no longer beat up on people who cannot defend themselves. These are people who work hard but no longer have a voice. I am your voice. My opponent asks her supporters to recite a three-word loyalty pledge. It reads, I'm with her. I choose to recite a different pledge. My pledge reads, I'm with you, the American people. To all Americans tonight, in all of our cities, and in all of our towns, I make this promise. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you, and good night. I love you. We're against Saudi Arabia, you dumbass! We talk about that all the time! We talk about that all the time!